So if you're interested in any of those things, keep watching. So today I'm talking about two very important things to me. I personally suffer from a disease and it's called Lyme disease. And uh, if you don't know much about Lyme disease, basically you have recycling co-infections in your body. And every time it dies off, it sets off numerous amounts of toxins. And then what happens with that disease is it creates something called a co-infection. So it's basically the disease that never ends. The symptoms that I've had from Lyme disease is different types of skin rashes, um, constant fatigue, uh, digestive health issues, uh, crazy swelling of the body parts. I mean, there's so many different things. Not only that, the susceptibility to get other kinds of sicknesses. So I just definitely have to live a cleaner life than most, but we're in an age right now that People are just sick. Um, they have autoimmune diseases that they don't know about, need help to get healthy. And uh, things that you can do when you're in a toxic world, and not only do you wanna detox, but you wanna do repair. Um, there's two things that I have researched to be some of the most extraordinary things that you can do for your body. And I'm gonna talk about both of those things in the video. But the first thing I'm gonna talk about, I am so excited about because I have been researching photobiomodulation for a while now and it's something that hasn't been very affordable. You can go to what they call like red light rooms and get red light therapy and you pay like a monthly membership and you have to go out of your way, go to the place and doing the therapy and you leave. And it can be expensive, it can be out of your way, but what I've always wanted personally is red light therapy at home. Searched red light therapy, the amount of things that it achieves is almost endless. They're finding more and more and more and more information about red light therapy and the benefits not only of like the collagen in the skin, the scars, skin viscosity, um, making the skin look and feel better, detoxing the skin, making the skin brighter, um, but recovering muscles, helping with mitochondrial health, other ways that it helps boost the body's immune system and help with seasonal disorders and anxiety and depression. Like it's almost, it's literally never ending. And Personally, I've had a lot of clients that red light therapy and that use red light therapy products that have been raving to me about them. So of course, I had to look into doing it myself. But what I absolutely love is that this company called Juve has come out with an affordable way to do red light therapy at home, effective full strength red light therapy that you would get if you went into any of the professional places to have it done in your hand. So basically, this is called the Juve Go that you can use at home. So it's that easy. It turns on just like this and it covers quite a large area. So you can get the benefits. Maybe you have seasonal depression, enough time in the sun or live somewhere where you get enough sun to get that vitamin D intake, to get that happy feeling that you get when you're out in the sun. You can do that at home, anytime, anywhere. It's so easy, it's so compact. It comes with its own travel case. And I cannot even believe the kind of reviews that it's getting. What is so amazing about photobiomodulation is the fact that it can heal mitochondrial health. The depths that it goes, the depths that light goes, this red light penetrates through the skin and the cell health is amazing. Sound and light are the two things that really can penetrate skin um, to a deeper level. And when using light like this to penetrate the skin, what it does is it repairs the damage that blue light does that we are constantly in. Blue light damages not only the cells, but damages your circadian rhythm. People are all on top of the blue light blocking glasses. They wear them in the evening time. They're wearing them during the day now because they know it throws off the rhythm and they just can't sleep at night. Their body has no idea when morning is and when nighttime is. So fighting this actively and exposing yourself to red light not only repairs the damage that that blue light causes, but it helps rejuvenate the cells and makes them run the way they're supposed to run. So if you think about it, think about it, your cells, if they are damaged, cells do something called mitosis. So a cell that is damaged, it has damaged chromosomes. What it's gonna do 
is it's gonna split and divide, but it makes a carbon copy of that cell. It makes a, a perfect replica of that damaged cell. So what happens if a damaged cell reproduces and reproduces and splits and over again? That's what we call disease. Like, what is our best defense against disease? And is it this easy? It totally is. Like, you can apply the JUVGO to any area of the body that has issues. Maybe you have fibromyalgia, maybe you have rheumatoid arthritis, and you just need exposure to that light to heal those cells so those cells are splitting healthy cells and regenerating healthy cells. So anytime you have any type of autoimmune disease, you have these problems where basically your body is becoming diseased and then it's copying itself and you have to stop it. So the two most amazing things you can possibly do is red light therapy and the other one is heat shock proteins. And I wanna show you how you can do both of these at the same time. So I wanna show you how I combine photobiomodulation with heat shock proteins. Now, heat shock proteins are pretty phenomenal. There are some videos out there that I absolutely love on them. Um, Thomas DeLauer has a video on saunas versus steam rooms, and he goes all into heat shock proteins. See that Ben Greenfield uses his juve in front of his sauna. Therapy is very, very popular all over the world, especially in the colder climate. Is it amazing for the lymphatic system? Heat shock proteins help the body heal, um, especially when it's sick or it's hard for you to move. They send these amazing proteins that are so healing and rejuvenating to muscles, cells, organs in the body to help them recover quicker. Show you how I use heat shock proteins in my steam room and use the juve to create the ultimate healing experience. Um, so we're in my bathroom and this is my steam shower. What is going on here? I have a steam shower, so it's fully enclosed, but they have like at the gym, it has the same functionality of that. And what I do with my juve is I set it up in the window so I can get the heat shock proteins going on by coming into a hundred, a hundred plus degree room and sweating and getting detoxification, but I'm also getting the photolight therapy on top of it, in front of your face. So I wanna show you how I set it up here. What I usually do is I set my juve strategically angled in the area of my body I want it to hit. So if I'm sitting on that bench inside here, what I do is I turn the juve on and I sit so it's exposed to a certain area. This works really well in a steam shower or in a sauna. I preheat my steam shower, heat up to the temperature I like to, but I usually like to get in and at 110 degrees or so. And then I hop in and I set my juve right there and I get the benefit of the heat shock proteins and the photobiomodulation. The three most common uses for the juve are skin health, muscle health, and fat loss. People get into red light therapy for one of those three things. Effects are so amazing um, with virtually no type of negative impact on your body or its health. So they get into it for one thing, maybe it's muscle health and then they notice their skin is clearing up or uh, they're, they're tightening up and they're losing fat and they're losing weight or they're using it to help um, with fine lines and wrinkles and collagen production and they notice that it helps with their turkey neck or their face feels more taut and their skin feels more vibrant. For whatever reason you are going to use red light therapy, the coolest thing is it works so many things in the body and just the cellular impact that it has on its own is amazing enough to know that, hey, I am doing something good for my cells, I'm doing something good for my body, to know that we expose ourselves to so much negative light and negative energy and negative chemicals doing something positive and helping our cells divide in a way where our health, our cells are gonna be healthy when they divide instead of being sick when they divide and that causing disease in the body. Um, if we can heal ourselves on a cellular level, if you can stop those unhealthy cells that multiply in their tracks, why wouldn't you do that? And the fact that Jew was able to create a product, not only that was easy to take with you places and be able to get your red light therapy in 
on the go, but to make it so compact and portable that you can take it anywhere in your house and get different areas of the body without even really thinking about it. It's so hard to be able to make an appointment and go in and get some type of red light therapy. You have to go out of your way while you're sitting and working on your computer. You can get red light therapy anywhere at any time. It's mobile, it's chargeable. There's no reason anybody should not have a Jew. I think it's probably going to be one of the most important medical devices in the future of health. And if you ever want to know where the cutting edge um, health devices look at the sports industry. They have the money to do the research and they're always on the cutting edge of the most important modalities. Sports industry is all over Juve and they're all over red light therapy. Look at what NASA's doing. I bought my rebounder because of NASA. I bought my cleaner plants because of NASA. And now NASA's like, look, we use the Juve and so will I.